This is the solution to written homework 29. <clears throat> Solve the following inequality by constructing a sign chart. Okay, so first step is to consider the natural domain. Okay, so the right hand side, there's nothing wrong with the right hand side. Three can be evaluated anywhere. Uh, but the left hand side cannot be evaluated at two. So the natural domain is anything except two. Okay, so the next step is we're going to zero <coughs> and simplify uh, this expression. So 8x minus 3 over x minus 2 minus 3 is greater or equal to 0. So we got one of the sides to be 0. So now we want to simplify this. And the way I'll do it is I'll do the cross multiply thing. I'll say that this is 8x minus 3 over x minus 2 and then minus 3 over 1 greater or equal to 0. So I'm going to do the cross multiply thing or if you like the finding the uh, common denominator. It's the same uh, idea. So then this would be 8x minus 3 times 1 and then minus 3 times x minus 2 and then this is all over x minus 2 times 1 greater or equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify the numerator. <coughs> that would be 8x minus 3 and then minus 3x and then plus 6 <coughs> and then this over x minus 2 greater or equal to 0. So then 8x minus 3x is 5x and then negative 3 plus 6 is plus 3 and then over x minus 2 is greater or equal to 0. Okay, so then step 2 is complete because we took the original inequality, we got one of the sides to be 0 and we simplified it uh, as much as possible. So step three is we're going to solve an equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, zeroed and simplified inequality and we're going to change it to an equality and solve. So 5x plus 3 divided by x minus 2 equal 0. So since this fraction uh, is equal to 0, it must be the case that the numerator is 0. Uh, so if we move the 3 over and divide by 5, that's saying that x is negative 3 over 5. OK, so now step. Four. Now here's where we make the sign chart. So what the sign chart does is it collects these things that we found. We found a break in the domain. And we also found A zero. So in a different question there could be zero, one, two, or any integer amount of breaks in the domain and same with the number of zeros. So we found two, uh, two different items. So we're going to take those items and we're going to plot them so there was two of them, so here's one, two. 
I'm going to take care to plot them in the correct order. So this one is more negative than that one. So here is negative three-fifths, and here is positive two. So now two is a break in the domain, so I'm going to draw it open so that I don't forget that that is a break in the domain. And this is a solution which is in the domain. So I'm going to draw it closed. Okay, now we've taken the reals and broken them into three regions. <coughs> so now in each region, we're going to select a point. So something to the left of negative three-fifths is negative one. Something in here is positive one and something over here is three. So now we're going to take uh, these test points, take those test points, and we're going to plug them in to right here. Okay. <clears throat> so at negative one, at negative 1, the numerator would be negative 5 plus 3, which is negative. So that'd be negative. And the denominator would be negative 3, which is negative. Uh, the numerator would be, for in the middle, would be 8, which is positive. And then divide by negative 1, which is negative. And then in the right region, the numerator would be positive, and then divide by 1, which is positive. And then now we can figure out the overall sign in each region. So negative over negative, that's positive. Positive over negative, that's negative. And positive over positive, that's positive. OK. So now we can make our conclusion. We took the reals and we cut them into pieces, three pieces in this exercise, and then we labeled each piece as being positive or negative. And we either want all of the positive ones or we want all of the negative ones. So in this specific exercise, we want the positive regions. The reason why we want the positive regions is because of this. We were interested in finding where this expression was greater or equal to zero. If this said, if this said less or equal to zero, we would want the negative regions. So now we look at the positive regions and say, OK, that's the answer. So it would be negative infinity to negative 3 fifths. And that is included because it is in the domain and the inequality says greater or equal. Okay, so that's included. And then union. We cannot include 2 because it was not part of the domain. And that's the answer.